Hey guys, it's Ben, Acme Mowen, Acme Mowen and Lawn Care, acmemowen.com. You're probably thinking, hey, he's got his trimmer rack on there. This is going to be the setup reveal video for 2019. We're, we're going to see his entire setup today, all sprawled out like all the other guys on YouTube do. That's not what you're going to see today, guys. Today, you're going to see me being proud of me installing those Green Touch Industries orange uh, racks. They've got some comments. Uh, everybody likes the orange color. Uh, I do too, and that's why I got them. Um, but they're a special limited edition. Uh, I'm not sure that you can still get them, uh, but you go to Green uh, Green Touch Industries or TrailerRacks.com. We'll get you there, and you can see if they're still available. The last time I looked, uh, I did a search specifically for the orange racks, and it says they still got them, but I don't know. Anyway, we got the orange one set up there, and uh, this is not a setup reveal video. In fact, today, we're going to be improving upon that trailer. Uh, ben, is that a 14-foot trailer that you're walking behind in front of? Is that this? Is that the 14-foot trailer from last year? It is. Uh, this is the trailer that we used last year. Ben, I thought you were selling it. I am selling it, guys. We just put it on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace this morning. So I've already gotten my first three scam uh, texts out of the way asking me to email them. Uh, uh, and I told them no, of course. But uh, we got this on the Marketplace and uh, Craigslist for $1,575. I really would like to have $1,500 out of it, but I'll take $1,450. Don't tell anybody. Uh, Anyway, guys, this trailer, the 14 by 6 foot trailer with the landscaping rack on it, uh, I've had to put a new axle on it. If you guys have been following us, you know that I overloaded this trailer at some point last year with mulch, and I bent the axle. So I had to get a new axle. Uh, actually, then they put the new axle on, and then I bent it again. But it was their fault this time because they put the wrong axle on it, and they told me uh, that it was rated for a certain weight, and it wasn't. So... Uh, we had to have the new axle put on it. So this is on its second brand new axle and it's holding up really well. Uh, we put brand new tires, both both brand new tires, and I added a spare just in case. Uh, it's got the trimmer racks over there, pre-installed, they're welded on there. Um, and the electrical all works, all the brake lights and turn signals and everything else works on it. So we're getting rid of this one for the 2019 season um, and we're gonna go with our brand new uh, tandem axle trailer for the year. But Ben, what else are we going to do today? Uh, it doesn't seem like you got much left to do. Well, we don't have much left to do, but we do have these uh, sure can gas racks that I'm going to be installing. We got the five gallon and the 2.2 gallon rack, uh, and we're going to be putting them on the trailer today. We want Green Touch again, uh, kind of just for the theme, not because we prefer it over Equipment Defender. We got, we got no idea uh, exactly what Equipment Defender is all about. But by the end of the season, by the end of this season, we'll have a good idea what Green Touch Industries is all about, and we'll be able to tell you all about them uh, near the end of the season. Right now, I can just tell you that they look pretty. That's it. Uh, I don't know how well they're going to function or hold up throughout the season. We're hoping that they do well. We've heard good things. We'll see. Uh, some people swear by Equipment Defender. Some people swear by Sure Touch uh, or Sure... Uh, Green Touch, uh, sure can. Uh, racks are on the install agenda for today. On this one, it's pretty straightforward. There are two holes at the bottom of the rack. You just drill a hole through the top rail of your trailer uh, to the appropriate size. I'm not sure what that is at the moment, but we'll figure it out. Uh, and then you just bolt this thing down. This installation is going to take me maybe five minutes. So that's awesome. Let's get it started. I'm going to be putting the tool rack up here in the front, so I want to give myself space. I'm probably just go directly opposite on this one, uh, just for aesthetics from the backpack blower rack. So we're going to mark it right here. We'll get a mark and we'll start drilling some holes. Doesn't get any simpler than this. Drill bit just 
just not hacking it. I need a better drill bit. That'll do. Oh dear. Well, so here's a weird thing. Uh, I didn't have this with my other my other racks, but these bolts that they supply are too short to go through all the way through the square uh, square rail top rail of my trailer. Uh, square top rails are a pretty common thing. You'd think that they would include longer bolts in order to accommodate that, but now I'll need to go up. <sighs> Dang it and buy longer bolts. I'm not very happy with that, honestly. Just, I think it should be included for the price that I paid for those racks. And I gotta say, if you buy the fuel racks uh, at the same time you buy your backpack rack, then you're gonna be in luck if you got a uh, square top trailer or rail like I do, because in the backpack uh, rack, they came with extra bolts, long ones, uh, that'll fit all the way through. So I won't have to make that trip up to the, to the store to get new hardware, but I just can't believe that they wouldn't include these with their fuel with their fuel racks. It's hard to believe. Heading to Vegas in my blue stripe car. She's riding shotgun and she looks like a star. Yeah, she's got the style that makes you think she's made out of gold. She says she likes it better when we go off road. Yeah. Sun in my eyes It can't get better than when she makes that smile Yeah, she's got that style that makes you think she's made out of gold She's turning up the volume on the radio Hey guys, look who's with me. KH has joined me for, Hi the, for the Fridge of Fame portion of the episode. And I want to tell you that sadly, this is going to be our last Fridge of Fame ever. Uh-uh. Until we get more stuff. We got no last year stuff. We got nothing else. Uh, I got one thing that I got down at the, uh, the Ninja 
Texas gathering last month. I got one more thing. A guy gave me a card down there, and uh, I told him that I'd put it up on the Fridge of Fame, and I almost forgot. Uh, I was cleaning out my uh, truck yesterday, and I came across it, thankfully. <laughs> so we do have a card for the Fridge of Fame today, uh, but that's it. Uh, if we don't get anything else from you guys, no more Fridge of Fame. That'd be sad. That would suck. That would suck. Suck. So what do you think of uh, the new racks on the trailer? They are amazing. I just now noticed. She hadn't seen them yet. She just got <laughs> home from work. He snatched me right up after I got out of my car. I did. Uh, so, KH, would you like to do the honors for the Fridge sure. Fame? So who are we inducting today into our Fridge Fame? Hayden Riggins, Connor Duff from Midlow Turf Management, Midlothian, Texas. Midlothian, Texas. I believe I mispronounced that in the video that we oh. did we, that we interviewed uh, Hayden. Oh, okay. There's Hayden's card. Let me get a good close up. The sun is kind of. We haven't had this problem for a while with the sun. There we go. Midlow Turf Management. That's a very professional looking card. Uh, I must say, very nice card, Hayden. Uh, Kh is going to get you up on the fridge fame. Mm -hmm. And I hate to tell you, Tom. But we're retiring your old praying mantis card. Maybe you're happy about it. I don't know. But Tom's got the new praying mantis card here, and his old ones right here. The old ones coming off. Okay. We're not throwing it. We're not throwing it away, Tom. We're just putting it on the side of the refrigerator. There we go. Mr. Hayden Riggins. Welcome. <laughs> to the refrigerator of fame. Welcome. We're happy to have you with us. And uh, we'd be happy to have somebody else with us, too, if you'd send us your card or something. Hint, get on hint, it. Hint, hint, hint. It's a stamp, guys. Come on. Get it on. <laughs> anyway, Gay H. Yes. That is the video for today. Okay. So we're going to love each other. Make lots of money this season, guys. And peace. Peace. Hey, we'll see you on... Saturday. Yeah. See you later, guys. Bye.